Hello there. I'm First Alert meteorologist Meg McNamara. Thank you so much for checking out this CBS News Baltimore update on a WJZ alert day. So multiple impacts for this alert day. Of course, the intense heat, upper 90s, but then we have some intense humidity as well, and that's going to make it feel up to 105 degrees. So not just uncomfortable, but potentially dangerous. We're also tracking the possibility for a few storms. We could get some heavy downpours. Better bets, though for heavy rain that could trigger flash flooding Friday into Saturday. The heat advisory here, so all these areas of red could potentially feel close to 105 degrees. So please take all those heat related precautions. Take plenty of breaks in the AC. Stay hydrated with water or Gatorade. Keep your pets inside as much as you can and check on your neighbors. If you are going to exercise outside, you got to do it early in the morning or I would relocate inside to the AC. Your out the door numbers, so we have some upper 60s, low to mid to some upper 70s though across the state. And there is a potential for an isolated severe storm. That would mainly be north and west of Baltimore in this area of dark green where there's a marginal risk for severe storms from the Storm Prediction Center. The future cast. So you can see we get a lot of sunshine, a few clouds this afternoon, and that's when we start to see some of these showers and storms moving in. You'll notice they don't look particularly intense on the future cast. Tomorrow, though, we're looking at more widespread, heavier storms, and this is when we could trigger flash flooding. So 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it continues, though, for some places through the dinner time hours, even late night hours into very early on Saturday. Saturday, another chance for showers and storms is possible during the second half of the day. So today, here we are. We're going to be cruising into the upper 70s, but feeling warmer than that because of the humidity. Tonight's going to be a warm, muggy one, dipping down into the low to mid 70s. I'm First Alert meteorologist Meg McNamara. We'll have more updates in just a bit.